Loving yourself more. Remember that time when you were little and getting along and fitting in with everyone was the most important thing in the world to you? Well, guess what? You can release those I want to fit in patterns now and embrace your true self more. In fact, we need you to. There are times when we need to step back and take a look at what all the activities we are engaged in and ask ourselves, does this really represent who I really am? Not all of us can be sure of that completely, but many of you do know who you are deep inside and what your special gifts are, what you came here to do, and who you came here to be. But all too often we keep it inside and put on our happy play face in order to be accepted by everyone around us. These are mechanisms or ways we learned as school children in order to fit in and to get along and not be cast aside or as someone who would be bullied a lot. But we're all grown up now and this habit of behavior we have taken on in order to fit in with the others doesn't really suit us very well anymore. We become compromised. We are compromising our true selves. We belittle ourselves by hiding behind the I'm a really nice person mask in order to avoid conflict. I'm not saying that avoiding conflict is not an important thing to do, but all too often we have become in the habit of sacrificing our true selves in order to be presentable. But the thing is, people can sniff out inauthenticity. They can feel it, sense it, know it. And they don't know what's off, but they know something just isn't being really real. And unfortunately, more often than not, this can actually lead to conflict rather than avoid it. People know something is off and they want to attack in order to investigate and find out the real truth. They're not comfortable with falsity and want to dig in. Have you been experiencing a little of that lately? Or do you find yourself doing it to others who are not feeling authentic to you? Here's why. We're in the age of Aquarius right now, and all of that is about truth. Revealing the truth, finding the truth, and acting in our own truth. We are rising up. I accept and embrace all that I am. Taking steps to get into your own true, authentic self can be a real challenge. You're facing the risk of being rejected, of hearing not-so-nice things from friends and family who have known you all of their lives, suddenly not understanding who you think you really are. Do you get that too sometimes? An attitude from others you have been surrounded by for decades, somehow now treating you like they think you're acting all high and mighty? Well, guess what? You are high and mighty. That's how God created you, in the image of itself. So claim it. I've created a safe space for you to do that online, and it's in my Facebook group. Feel free to come and join us there. My Soul Filled Lives and Livelihoods Facebook group can be found in the link in the description. Premium Light Attunements, and The Big Kahuna. I recently came across a few offerings I had developed years ago while I was living on Maui. I'm so glad I found them again. If you'd like some private support with elevating during these times, I'm honoring the pricing set in 2017 when I first started these. Yep. The reason I'm doing that is that I'm slowly easing myself back into doing one-on-one work with private clients after having been focused on group work for the last few years and then relocating to Munich, Germany, where I am feeling very settled now. Both are 30-day options, giving you the opportunity to dip your toe in working with me, and now they're available to you in these easy price ranges. 
I'm going to hold these true until the end of this year, 2021. You can see the link in the description. I always enjoy hearing from you if you want to send an email. And I hope you're staying cool in these very hot times. Wishing you a wonderful week. Much love and many blessings. Suzanne